Hi everybody. Just wanted to uh, give you a brief rundown on how to make a, um, a counter with a D flip flop or D latches if you like. Uh, we're going to start by counting from 0 to 1 to 2 and then to 3 and then we're going to return back to the beginning. A simple counter. Simple counters like this are also known as degenerate finite state machines. It's important to use a, a state encoding. I typically use binary. So we'll have a present state, and then we'll have a next state, and the encoding will require two bits. So we'll have A and a B bit, and for the next state we'll use A plus and B plus. And what we'll do is we'll show the uh, all possible present states by enumerating in binary. And for the next state, We'll have 0, 0 go to 0, 1. 0, 1 goes to 1, 0. 1, 0 goes to 1, 1. And 1, 1 goes back to 0. And that is our present state, next state table. And so what that says in binary is that as we go from 0, 1, 2, and 3, we end up at 1, 2, 3, and then 0, respectively. And now what we need to do is create the so-called remapped excitation table for the D flip-flops. And for the D flip-flops, what we do is we stimulate the D flip-flops so that they take on the value during the next clock cycle. And so what we'll do, this is a blank row, um, is we'll say if you want a 0 for your next state, put in a 0. If you want a 1 for the next state, put in a 1. In fact, just copy the next state into the inputs on the D flip-flop. These are delay flip-flops, after all. And they are the most elementary of storage elements. By inspection, we can say that D sub A is equal to A exclusive or B. And D sub B must be equal to B prime. Given these two equations, obtained by inspection from the um, truth table. We can now create a implementation, d sub a and d sub b with a and a prime on outputs and b and b prime on outputs. d sub b is equal to b prime by virtue of this equation, and d sub a is equal to a exclusive or b. And that's how you design a simple counter. Thank you.